planes, products, and policy. NBAA TV brings you updates from events happening around the country. Hi everyone, I'm Ed Hyland for NBAA TV. And I'm Carrie Fernack. We have important news coming up from the NBAA Schedulers and Dispatchers Conference taking place right here at the Fort Worth Convention Center. But first, let me get out of the way to show you some of the dozens of aircraft which have been assembled for the West Palm Beach Regional Forum. Roughly 25 aircraft were on display at NBAA's West Palm Beach Regional Forum on January 26th. There was something of interest for everyone, according to NBAA's Tracy Tippett. We've got a, a great array of aircraft that came in for this show. We've got aircraft here that uh, literally uh, run the gamut from uh, you know, highly capable intercontinental business jets capable of uh, jumping nonstop from uh, any place in the U.S. to China, Europe, uh, Africa, points around the globe, to single-engine propeller aircraft that are designed for a more localized mission. Here at Palm Beach International Airport, presidential TFRs will soon become a regular occurrence. Those managing airspace and ground operations are trying to assess how to handle these changes. It's all because the presidential retreat, Mar-a-Lago, is 2.1 nautical miles away. NBAA's Air Traffic Services at the FAA's Air Traffic Control System Command Center offers guidance on presidential and vice presidential TFRs. As they pop up around the United States, get information by visiting nbaa.org slash VIP hyphen TFR. Of course, Palm Beach hasn't been the only place in focus for NBAA and business aviation. Now let's check in with our NBAA TV team over on the exhibit floor at the Fort Worth Convention Center. Thanks, Ed. We're here at the NBAA Schedulers and Dispatchers Conference, where more than 2,800 industry colleagues are visiting some of the more than 500 exhibit booths. Schedulers, dispatchers, managers, pilots, and flight department personnel are participating in more than 30 education sessions and getting face time with each other along with important vendors and suppliers. There are so many products and services on display here, but a lot of the buzz is really about policy. NBAA President and CEO Ed Bolin reminded attendees about the challenges facing the industry. NBAA expects legislation to be introduced that would privatize the air traffic control system and fund it with user fees. It's supported by the major airlines and Boland says it will hurt business aviation by limiting access. All of us know that the big airlines are gonna once again push their proposal to take control, seize control of our nation's air traffic control system and fund it with user fees. Now this has been an age old battle, but every time it has come forward, it has presented new and difficult challenges for us. And what we have done as a community is risen to the challenge by making our size significance felt through all of our number of grassroots opportunities. MBAA members are encouraged to send letters and emails to members of Congress using the association's online Contact Congress resource. Also, remember to participate in MBAA's social media campaign using the hashtag BizAvWorks. Attendees here at SDC 2017 have a lot to say about the Washington policy the industry is facing. I've actually written a letter to my congresswoman and man and just said, you know what, this is something that's really important. And I think we can be a powerful voice from a, from a ground level. SDC is a business community with a focus on giving back to the communities where they meet. This year, professionals created housewarming baskets for survivors of domestic violence. Penistar was our financial sponsor and we also had attendee donors who donated money as part of the registration process. We uh, raised more than $3,100 that we used to purchase all of these household items that um, our attendees helped pack in the baskets. The 30 baskets packed for Safe Harbor are just part of the effort going on here. Attendees are also invited to bring business, clothing and accessories for Dress for Success. It's all part of the industry's effort to pay it forward to the cities that host SDC. So knowing that we can leave an impact on them that will last longer than the five days we're in town is why I think everybody in this community has easily gotten behind the Pay It Forward initiative. Also this year, new furniture that's being used in some of the education session rooms is being donated to a local YMCA. There's so much happening, and that'll do it for us right now from SDC 2017. Ed? From the Schedulers and Dispatchers Conference in Dallas-Fort Worth to the West Palm Beach Regional Forum, for all of us at NBAA-TV, I'm Ed Hyland.